James Howlett, a.k.a. Logan, was born in 1832 in northern Canada. In 1845, he got to find out his mutant power for the first time. In 1979, his bone got fused with adamantium by Cornell Stryker in the Alkali Lake according to the original timeline. Logan died in 2029 according to the new timeline due to adamantium poisoning, which means he died at the age of 197. It is obvious that his healing capability has helped him to live a longer life. But is there any way Logan could have been immortal if he didn't die of that adamantium poisoning? What if the bone of Logan was never fused with this component? Does he really stand a chance in becoming an immortal being? The short answer is no. If a person is immortal, he will obviously stop aging. But if we just take a look at Logan from 1845 until 1979, he did age but very slowly. If this guy was immortal, his physical parameters would never change until his death. So, whether it's adamantium poisoning or something else, he will definitely die but possibly after a couple of generations. Let me show you some calculations. Logan died at the age of 197. He got adamantium in 1979. So he had to live with his adamantium claws for almost 50 years. On the other hand, he didn't age that much for almost 147 years before his bone fusion was done with this poisonous metal. Now the average lifespan of a male in America is something like 75 years. So if this guy used to look like 30 at the age of 147, he could possibly stay alive for more than 300 years if we compare his aging process to a typical 75 year old man. So it's crystal from the breakdown that Logan is not immortal. On the top of all of that, a couple of methods have been described in the comic books by Professor Charles Xavier that can be used to eliminate Logan without any possibility of reviving. If you just slit the throat of Logan and rip his head off, he's gonna die within 15 minutes after after suffering from the lack of oxygen to his brain cells. You just have to make sure that the rest of his body cannot get hold of his head for a minimum 20 minutes. Because if Logan can somehow manage to put his head back on his neck again, he's gonna fuck with your ass with his adamantium cock. You can also make him suffocate by locking him up inside an airtight tube made of any strong material. If you can manage to keep him inside that thing for more than 10 to 15 minutes, the game will be over. You can also try the same thing by drowning this man in into water for almost the same amount of time. On the other hand, if you throw this guy into molten lava, you can kill him within 15 minutes. Even the adamantium inside his body is gonna melt after some time. And then if you can somehow manage to get all the infinity stones together, a single snap from the hand of a strong avenger can disintegrate this man within a moment. Also, a couple of members from the X-Men possess the power to kill Logan. For example, Professor Charles has the ability to kill Logan using the psychic waves of the Cerebro. Dr. Jean can rip his head off with the help of her phoenix power. Magneto has the ability to manipulate adamantium. So this guy can literally use a fraction of his power and turn Logan into a meatball. So yeah, Logan is actually not immortal. He's gonna die anyways. Deadpool by the way is a different breed of badass motherfucker who is actually immortal. Yes, you can try to kill him in the exact same ways I have described above. But on the other side, this dude literally has an eternal life. Deadpool can regenerate from a single fucking cell of the body. You hear me? A single bloody cell from the body. Almost done. Almost done what? Getting my knife out of your buttocks, you pervert! Get your mind out of my pants!